Okay, so we are officially live and um, all right, boom, boom. Just had to wait for that to switch over. I just got to edit, but anyway. I get to say this the first time in a while. Hello, hello, my wonderful audience. Your boy Balzania here, welcoming you to Five Nights at Freddy's, sister location. Now, I have actually tried this out a while ago. As if you could tell, it says continue night two, but it was so long ago. It was like when it first came out, and... I don't remember anything about it, which is actually good. Alright, sorry. Um, I, I, I tried to uh, switch my title when I was at work, and apparently it didn't stick. So, I gotta do it again. Sorry for any delay. It, it got the game right, it just didn't update just didn't update onto Twitch from my actual computer. I guess it's the last time I try to use the mobile app to do it. But we Oh Okay. volume a little in my headset because that is kind of loud but anyway this is five nights at freddy's and this is this is a series that holds really dear in my heart because i played every one of them beat every one of them and i live streamed Every one of them, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think I live streamed every one of them. It was a big cause for the reason I got into streaming so hardcore after that. I uh, got a lot of followers, and it was absolutely amazing. So, I mean, obviously, without further ado, we're going to bring to you Five Nights at Freddy's. Just setting up some things. I'm waiting for more viewers. So we're going to start in, because I know there's, uh, there's definitely a learning curve thing, and I haven't played this in a while, so we're going to start off in the old-fashioned way and go new game. Okay. Welcome to the first day of your exciting new career. Whether you were approached at a job fair, read our ad in screws, bolts, and hairpins, or if this is the result of a dare, we welcome you. I will be your personal guide to help you get started. All right. I'm a Model 5 of the Handyman's Robotics and Unit Repair System, but you can call me Hand Unit. Your new career promises challenge, intrigue, and endless janitorial opportunities. Please oh, enter endless. your name as seen above the keypad. This cannot be changed later, so please be careful. Okay. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. Ah, uh, yeah. I see what. Yeah, it's kind of. And I will auto correct. Welcome, Ex Benedict. Huh. Oh yeah, I think it's always Ex Benedict. Welcome, Ex Benedict. All right. So apparently, my name is Ex Benedict. Dance. Celebrate. Night one. Okay. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I don't need the keyboard for anything, right? Yeah. You can now open the elevator using that bright red and obvious button. I know. Let's funny. get to work. Alright, so we go through Allow me to bit. fill this somewhat oh, frank okay. science crawl. with some light-hearted banter. Due to the massive success, and even more so the unfortunate closing of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, it was clear that the stage was set, no pun intended, for another contender in children's entertainment. Unlike most entertainment venues, our robotic entertainers are rented out for private parties during the day. And it's your job to get the robots back in proper working order before the following morning. You are now in the primary control module. Right. It's actually a crawl space between the two front showrooms. Now, let's get started with your daily tasks. All right. View the window to your left. Okay. This is the Ballora Gallery party room and dance studio, encouraging kids to get fit and enjoy pizza. Let's turn on the light and see if Ballora is on stage. Press the blue button on the elevated keypad to your left. They're both blue. Oh. No. Uh-oh. It looks like Ballora doesn't feel like dancing. Uh -oh. Let's give her some motivation. Yeah. Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. Maybe that will put the spring back in her step. That's... Let's check the light again. Okay, that's one hell of a controlled shock. Excellent. Ballora is feeling like her old self again and will be ready to perform again tomorrow. Alright, cool. Now view the window to your right. This is the Funtime Auditorium, where Funtime Foxy encourages kids to play and share. Funtime Foxy! Try the light. Let's see what Funtime Foxy is up to. Oh, he's not there. Looks like Funtime Foxy is taking the day off. Let's motivate Funtime Foxy with a controlled shock. Oh, God. No wonder they want to kill me. Let's try another controlled shock. All right. Oops, that's right, I got to turn on the light. Oh, there he is. Looks like Funtime or, Foxy is in perfect working order. Or she. Great job. I don't even know, like... In front of you is another vent shaft. Crawl through it to reach the Circus Gallery control module. Right. Motion trigger. Circus Gallery vent. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Motion trigger, so... On the other side of the glass okay. is Circus Baby's auditorium. Let's check the light and see what Baby is up to. Looks like a few of the lights are out, but we can fix that later. Let's encourage Baby to cheer up with a controlled shock. With a controlled shock. <laughs> Let's try another controlled shock. Let's try another controlled okay. shock. I was going to say, I don't see it. Great job, Circus Baby. We knew we could count on you. I, I, I didn't see That concludes see her. your duties for your first night on the job. I didn't even see the Circus Baby. We don't want baby. you to leave overwhelmed. Otherwise, you might not come back. Please leave using the vent behind you, and we'll see you again tomorrow. Yeah, you... Like, honestly... Like, any job where you have to actually crawl through a vent shaft... To get to where you need to be... I, um, honestly... Motion to Circus Gallery Vent. Uh, yeah, okay. Hold on. I'm trying to do something here, okay. Are happening now. Alright, Clara, I tell you, the baby isn't mine. Count, I tell you, Eat that all the popcorn. Is. You're the only vampire I've ever loved. And the baby turns his bottles into powdered milk. That doesn't mean anything. He sleeps on the ceiling fan. Upright or upside down? What does it matter? 
You need to be part of your son's life. I'm an old man, Clara. I can't be a father. Well, then at least pay your child support, you deadbeat! <laughs> Will Vlad and his distressed mistress find common ground? Tune in next time. All right. Okay. Oh, we're back. Welcome here. back for another night of intellectual stimulation, pivotal career choices, and self reflection on past mistakes. We're committed to creating a unique and fulfilling work experience. One part of that commitment is ensuring that you don't get tired of the voice that you're hearing right now. Using the keypad below, please select a new companion voice. It seems that you had some trouble with the keypad. I see what you were trying to type and I will auto-correct it for you. Thank you for choosing Angsty Teen. Angsty Teen. Okay. It was a gimme. Literally a gimme. They're usually not gimmies like that. The elevator stopped. You know the routine. You get out now or whatever. Stay here if you want. So, funny story. A dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so not that funny, but it's a story. It's a story, great. Go. This is where it's gonna get real here. Okay, let's start with your nightly chores. You should check on Ballora and make sure she's on her stage, but whatever. Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap her. That should be fun. Let's zap Okay. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. Make what? sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. No. Great. 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 Oh no. There seems to have been a problem with the voice synthesizer. Default settings have been restored. Oh, okay. Please proceed through the vent ahead of you to Circus Baby's auditorium. Wait, wait but Foxy's not a What the oh, oh yeah. Here we go. Motion trigger. Circus gallery vent. Yep, that's me. I know. Hi, I, mo I triggered the motion sensor. It's just your boy balls on you here. Circus baby had a busy day today. Let's check the light and make sure she's in proper working order. Yeah, the lights out. Oh, circus baby, we aren't here to play hide and seek. Let's encourage Baby to come out of hiding with a controlled shock. Let's try another controlled shock. There seems to be a power malfunction that is affecting our ability to properly motivate Baby. Yep. Please stand by while I reboot the system. Of course. I will be offline momentarily during this process. Various other systems may be offline as well, yep. such as security doors, vent locks, and oxygen. Of course. Commencing system restart. Yep. Of course. 
Motion trigger. Entry way vent. Funtime Auditorium Maintenance Vent Opened. Ballora Gallery Maintenance Vent Opened. Uh oh. I remember this vaguely, but. Not well. I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario, however. It's a strange thing to want to do, to come here. I'm curious what events would lead a person to want to spend their nights in a place like this. Willingly. Maybe curiosity? Maybe ignorance? Hey, there is check. a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. I recommend that you hurry, though. You will be safe there. Just try not to make eye contact. It will be over soon. They will lose interest. Okay. All right, under the desk. Like. Is there a way to uh, shut off the flashlight? Just say click and drag. What? I'm probably going to just die. This is going to be quick. Um, I hope I'm doing this right. I mean, I'm still alive. So. I hear someone coming. It's just like, I don't know what's openings. I know that's the vent that I crawled in on. So, I'm pretty sure if anything is coming, it's going to be from there. But, I don't know. Like, uh oh. Okay. So far so good. Like, I don't see a time. Like, how long do I gotta last? Like, what am I doing? Let me see, what am I doing? Alright, um... 
Usually the length of time of Five Nights at Freddy's night, so usually ten minutes. But... I don't know. Like I said, I... Apparently this is as far as I've gotten. And I didn't, like, rewatch my video that I have posted on my YouTube channel, but... I keep hearing I keep hearing these sounds man keep hearing these sounds and they're creeping me out I'm just a, like I keep thinking like at any time something's just gonna jump out at me in good Five Nights at Freddy's fashion you know that infamous jump scare I so Oh God! You know that one that sends like chills and makes your hair stand on end and makes your butthole pucker. That's a good one. All right, so so far so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We good. We good. Yeah, we good. I said it'd be better if I don't look at it, don't look it in the eyes. Am I supposed to close that door? I don't know. Like, I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. So, the door's got holes in it, though. Like, there's a hole right there. All right, I'm thinking maybe I should close the door. I don't know. Like, oh, wait, maybe I'm supposed to do this while keeping an eye out. Okay. Alright, I'm dead. I am legit dead. Oh God. Here it is. I'm dead. But here it is. Here it is. Jesus 
Okay. I knew the son bitch was coming too, and it still got me. Oh. Oh my god, alright. Under the desk. Like. So obviously I can't close the door, because once I close the door I can't reopen it. So. I mean, unless. Hmm. I got an idea. Maybe if I don't close it all the way and every time she goes to try to look in. I close it a little more to kind of shift over the eye. Or does it or does it not trigger until it's completely shut? Give it a shot. I'm still hearing like people running, but I'm not getting the same trigger response like the the end setup. I don't want to close this anymore. I think I have to, but... It's very unclear as to what I got to do. None of the buttons do crap. Alright, well, I guess, uh... I guess we close it. Like, I keep hearing people walk in, but... Alright. I triggered it. Maybe I should look it dead in the eye. Shine the light right at it. Hi, how's it going? How you doing? Yeah, I am. Hi. Yep, alright, so I'm dead. Again. Alright. I think... I think the eye holes... is a thing. Okay. I really think the eye holes is a thing. Okay, so can you turn your flashlight off? No. Not at all? Not at all. Alright, so I was going to say, if you hear her, turn it, turn it off or keep it away from so that you're not drawing attention by waving the flashlight by making the light move through all of those holes. That's what I was thinking. Um... 
I kind of noticed I lived a little longer when I was staring the eyes down because it told me try not to look her in the eyes. And knowing good old fashioned Five Nights from Freddy's, that's exactly what I have to do. Your idea is solid, I will do it, but I have a feeling I have to stare her down. All right, so. Just go right off the bat. Boom. Hi. How are you? Yeah, where are, where's the eye? Where's the eye? Come on. Ah, uh, there you are. Hi. All right. So I guess we tried the new way, which is suggested by Ashley. Awesome. So, all right. So I'm automatically under the desk. Now we realize that if I just sit here, nothing's gonna happen. I think I just need to close and trigger. Now you're saying don't move at all. Yeah, because the flashlight. I'm thinking the flashlight moving, maybe Yeah. Okay. Good possibility. Um, hold on. Okay, so... I made a lot of loud noises that time. So, I'm just gonna go straight up like this. It's out of the way. Actually, no, I don't wanna do it in one of the holes. Ah, uh, crap. No, nope, right there. That's fine. That's a hole. Yep. But now she's talking, so... I don't want to move. the door. Oh, we're taking the pin out. She just looked at me. Yeah. Yep, knock, knock. Yep, and there's the door opening. Green one. I don't know what this does. 
sabotage by Cool. Alright, so we're just gonna try to get to the end. Kind of bull. I didn't know there was a hole there. All right, well, back in. All right, so, all right, we're under the desk. Time to figure something out here. Now, I'm pretty sure that this does not start until I close that door. <coughs> Now, I tried staring at the eye holes when she was looking at them. Didn't work. I tried staying completely still. Didn't work. I can't shut off the flashlight or reopen the door once, once it's shut. Still checking all the buttons. Now I want, I would like to know what those bells are about. Because I'm hearing bells. So, I don't think I need them now. So, we're going to try it up. I'm going to try the eye thing again. Because obviously, she knows I'm in here. Hi. There's a fist here, so... Oh, I think I figured it out. Okay. Come on. I win. I'll win this. No, I won't. Oh, did I? Oh my god, I did. Oh, I gotta hold it shut. What, she's watching us? We have to leave? We'll see you again soon? When your guide comes back online, he is going to tell you that he was unsuccessful, that you must restart the system manually. He will then tell you to crawl through Ballora Gallery as fast as you can to reach the Breaker Room. If you follow his instructions, you will die. 
Okay. Ballora will not return to her stage anymore. She will catch you. The power will right. be restored shortly. When you crawl through Ballora Gallery, go slowly. She cannot see you, and can only listen for your movement. When you hear her music become louder, she is growing near, okay. listening for you. Wait, and be still. Thank you for your patience. It seems that the power system cannot be restarted automatically. You will need to restart the power system manually. Please return to the primary control module. Okay, all right, go back. Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. All right. This will be normal. All right, cool, cool. At least I figured it out, like, you will now be required to crawl through the Ballora Gallery using the vent to your left to reach the breaker room. It is recommended that you stay low to the ground and reach the other side as fast as possible as to not disturb Ballora. I will deactivate myself momentarily as to not create an auditory disturbance. Deactivating. Alright, here we go. Ballora Gallery maintenance vent opened. See the door. Alright, I had to turn my headset all the way up. She's over here. It seems you are taking a long time. Please proceed as quickly and as quietly as possible. Oh. Yeah. You're not going to get me killed, bruh. She's dancing right in front of me. Thank God for great headphones. All right. Yes. Motion trigger, breaker room. You may now interface with the breaker control box. Using the interface may disrupt nearby electronics. If you feel you are in danger, feel free to disconnect the interface temporarily until it is safe to reconnect. Okay. How do I disconnect the interface? Press, wait, press space to play mascot response audio. Oh. 
Oh. There's somebody in this room. Oh, I think I'm screwed. That's Freddy. Screwed. So you know what? Let's do it. Wait a minute. What? It's bedtime. Let's go back to our stage. You must be hearing things, silly. <laughs> Not getting the, the the true danger levels. I'm dead. Dead on this one, I know I am. Huh. I know you're over there somewhere. I think I figured this out. Oh, those are just to scare me. I think I figured it all out. Okay. Wow. That's just a glimmering, man. That's just freaky. Alright. Because the light will turn green for danger. Gotta wait for them to respond, though. I don't even know, like... Oh. Calm down and go back to sleep. No one is here. Go back to your stage. Everything is over. Boom.
Alright. Three more to go. Right there. Come on, last one. I got this. Great job. Oh. This completes your tasks for the night. Oh my god. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery with care, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. I gotta go back through this. Oh great. They didn't prepare me for this part. Complete. Enjoy some time at home. Eating more popcorn. As the sun sets, so also does another chapter in the saga of love lost between Vlad and his distressed mistress. Can they be reconciled? Can their love yeah, rise again? That and more happening now. Clara, the baby isn't mine. It is Vlad. They had trouble catching him in the nursery today. So what? Lots of kids get hyper and run around and stuff. They had to knock him out of the air with a broom. I have to go. They're going to dock your paychecks. They can't do that. I'm a vampire. I don't get paychecks. You work the graveyard shift at the Fry Me Taco. <laughs> don't lie to me. Oh, the humanity. When will the heartbreak end? When will these two ships passing in the night rekindle their long lost love? Tune in tomorrow to find out. Alright. Daddy just once let me go play with her. She's so pretty and shiny. Didn't you make her just for me? Ah. Okay. Welcome back to another pivotal night of your thriving new career where you get to really ask yourself, what am I doing with my life? What would my friends say? And most importantly, will I ever see my family again? We understand the stresses of a new job and we're here for you. 
To help you reach a more stable and relaxing frame of mind, we offer several musical selections to help make this elevator ride as relaxing and therapeutic as possible. We offer contemporary jazz, classical, rainforest ambiance, as well as a wide selection of other choices. Using the keypad below, it seems you had some trouble with the keypad. Yep. I see what you were trying to type, and I will auto-correct it for you. Okay. Thank you for selecting Casual Bongos. Casual Bongos. Now that your elevator experience has been customized to your needs and you're thoroughly relaxed, it's worth mentioning that due to your lackluster performance yesterday, your pay has been decreased by a substantial amount. Please enjoy the rest of your descent. What? I made it out alive, I didn't disrupt a single thing, and I rebooted the systems, and you're talking my fucking pay, you douchebag! Oh! This guy could go to hell. Alright. Night three. Yay. Due to unforeseen malfunctions from today's shows, your nightly duties will require you to perform maintenance that you may or may not be skilled enough to perform. Oh. It became necessary for technicians to attempt to disconnect Funtime Freddy's power module. However, they were unsuccessful. Allowing them to try again would be an inefficient path forward, as we would need to allow six to eight weeks for recovery and physical therapy. You will need to reach the parts and service room on the other side of Funtime Auditorium to perform the procedure yourself. Let's check on Ballora first and make sure she's on her stage. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Ballora Gallery. Let's check on Funtime Foxy. Is what it it's important be. to make sure pieces. she's on her stage before entering. Great, it looks like everything is as it should be in Funtime Auditorium. Oh, God, there is no. no need to check on Baby tonight. Please refrain from entering unauthorized areas. Proceed directly to Funtime Auditorium. Um... I'm probably gonna die. Legit, probably gonna die doing this, but I'm gonna listen to this idiot's instruction, and I'm gonna go right into the vent. Maintenance vent opened. Okay. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward okay. to reach the parts and service room. Oh, fuck my life. I... Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um Yeah, that uh that that that's not coy. That's not coy at all. All right. So Hold on, hold on a second. All right. So, oh, you know what? We have, oh, we have done completely the opposite of what this dude has said the entire time. This dude is trying to get us killed. So we're going to check on baby. Make sure everything's copacetic. And then we'll go. Motion trigger, circus gallery vent. Because honestly, why would they open the vent... Unless they wanted me to go there. Okay. I think I just gotta go... I, I, I think I gotta go through this again. Honestly. I think I gotta go through the whole... Baby thing again in order for this to work. Alright. Because I'm honestly thinking that... Did you know that I was on stage once? It wasn't for very long. Only one day. 
What a wonderful day, though. I was in a small room with balloons and a few tables. Okay. No one sat at the tables, though, but children would run in and out. Some were afraid of me. Others enjoyed my songs. Music was always coming from somewhere else, down a hall. I would always count the children. I'm not sure why. I was always acutely aware of how many there were in the room with me. Two, then three, then two, then three, then four, then two, then none. They usually played together in groups of two or three. I was covered in glitter. I smelled like birthday cake. There were two, then three, then five, then four. I can do something special. Did you know that? I can make ice cream. Although I only did it once. There were four, then three, then two, then one. Something happened when there was one. A little girl. Standing by herself, I was no longer myself, and I stopped singing. Uh-oh. My stomach opened, and there was ice cream. I couldn't move, at least not until she stepped closer. There was screaming for a moment, but only for a moment. Then other children rushed in again, but they couldn't hear her over the sounds of their own excitement. I still hear her sometimes. Why did that happen? Okay. All right, all right. Now let's just go back. I have a feeling I that those numbers indicate something motion trigger circus gallery vent okay hopefully I get a, a message from here oh okay I, I have a feeling that next time I'm gonna write down all those numbers next time let me just uh, get a pen and paper because I have no idea what I'm doing yet so here we go all right we got a pen we got a paper so yeah let's um auditorium maintenance vent opened yep unlike Ballora Funtime Foxy is motion activated for this reason, it's important to keep the room dark, as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room.
All right, all right, I'm close. Wait, I gotta wait for the pulley to charge. All right. Charge, come on. Oh god. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, oh, which should body. make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Okay. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Just under his right cheek, and press it? Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek, and press it. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. So, button next to his right eye? I, I don't see a button. Oh, okay, I see it. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. It's above Freddy's nose. Oh, God. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be opened. Okay. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Okay. Did I release it? Uh oh, I'm dead. Underneath Bonnie's bow tie, there's the bow tie. Oh! Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. I can't find... I can't find Bonnie. Oh, come on. Did I mess up? Am I dead? Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Yeah, I'm trying, dude. God. Oh my god. Oh man. 
Okay. Oh, you gonna do this again? Great. Monitorium maintenance vent opened. Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. Okay, I should have one more flash and I should be able to get to the door. Man, he re like he definitely made this one and the one before this very time like not time sound. Yeah, I know, I know. I actually like that about this. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton oh, jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. You will need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, yep. and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Great work. Oh god, it's gone. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module.
Okay. I got what I gotta do. Doesn't jump scare me first. Crap. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Oh, come on! I'm dead. I'm dead, he's got me. Press the large black yep. button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. I'm trying. Let's have figured out what I gotta do. Just get me. Come on, just get me, come on. That is literally, like, it's got to be the worst part of the entire thing, is knowing that that jump scare is coming at any second, and you are legit powerless to do anything. You just got to wait for it to come, and it just leaves you in such a suspense. Oh. I think we should call it. Well, it threw me back in. And... Alright, screw it. We can go into, uh... What's watching? Well, one more night. One more. One more attempt. Protocol Monitorium maintenance vent opened. Alright. Now this... Unlike Ballora, Funtime Foxy is motion activated. For this reason, it's important to keep the room dark as to not accidentally activate her. You have been provided with a flash beacon. Use it if you need to get your bearings and to ensure you don't bump into anything. However, use it as sparingly as possible. Proceed forward to reach the parts and service room. So I think I kind of figured out what I have to do. Because Bonnie keeps, um... Holy crap. I just saw Foxy just standing there. Oh. But as soon as I flash the light on him, he moves. So I gotta wait for him to get up to the point where I can click it. Alright, so... I can hear you. I can definitely hear you.
Oh, he's close. Come on. Here we go. One last attempt at this. All right, good. I'm in. Motion trigger, parts and service. Great job reaching parts and service. It seems that Funtime Freddy is out of power, which should make your job much easier. The release switch for the chest cavity is located on the underside of the endoskeleton jaw. To reach it, we will first need to open the face plates. Right, open the face you will plate. need to press the face plate release triggers in a specific order, and it's important to be as precise and as careful as possible. Yep. Locate the small button on Freddy's face, just under his right cheek, and press it. Great. Now locate the button under his left cheek and press it. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button next to Freddy's right eye. Great. Now carefully locate and press the button just above Freddy's nose. Good job. The face plates should now be open. Yep. Locate and press the small button on the underside of Freddy's endoskeleton jaw. Excellent. The chest cavity should now be open. Remove the power module from the chest cavity. Yeah, the second I do that, Bonnie's going to disappear. Great work. You will now be required to remove the secondary power module from the Bonnie hand puppet. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Okay. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. I'm trying. Oh no! I had it! Oh. Come on. Oh, there we go. Press the large black button beneath Bonnie's bow tie to release the power module. Trying it. Great job. Oh, got You've it. acquired both power modules. This completes your task oh. for the night. Oh. Please exit the building through Funtime Auditorium oh. and we'll see you back here again tomorrow. Oh, what a way. Oh my god, I got so lucky. I caught it. Oh. That was awesome.
All right. All we gotta do is make it back in one piece. That's it. All right, so now we're getting right back. Oh. So far, this thing is going good. Not moving. It's motion activated, so I am not moving. I'm waiting until it completely recharges because I'm not entirely sure and I really honestly do not want to mess this up. And yes, I don't know if you can hear it. But I can hear it, so that's what really matters. I'm the one playing the game. <laughs> no! greedy with my Daddy, steps. She can make balloons. Wait. Have you seen her make balloons? Oh, Daddy, let me go to her. I didn't make it out, though. I gotta redo night three, don't I? What? Shh. Be still and quiet. You've been sleeping for quite a while. I think they noticed that you never left the building last night. Uh oh. The cameras were searching for you, but they couldn't find you. I have you hidden too well. I kidnapped you. What? Okay, um... Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you. I am only going to keep you for a little while. Okay. Try not to wiggle, though. I won't. You're inside something that came from my old pizzeria. <gasps> I don't think it was ever used. At least not the way it was meant to be used. I'm too dangerous. I'm in one. It's just big enough for one person to fit inside. I'm in one of the old but animatronic just suits. Barely. I'm in one of the old. You're in the scooping room. Do you know why they call it the scooping room? That it's with... because, dummy, this is the room where they use the scooper. I thought that would be obvious. Yeah, they scoop ice cream. 
Isn't that a fun name for something? The scooper. It sounds like something you would use for ice cream or custard yeah. or sprinkles. Yeah. It sounds like something you would want at your birthday party to ensure that you get a heaping portion of every good thing. I wonder, though, if you were a freshly opened pint of ice cream, how you would feel about something with that name. Thankfully, I don't think a freshly opened pint of ice cream feels anything at all. Uh-oh. It sounds like someone else is in the building. Okay. Shh. All right. What's going on? Alright. Okay, Turn not to wiggle. What happened to it this time? Just seems like these things need to go a day without breaking down. Right. He's trying to fix my lights. Am I being moved? Just happened. I'll open the face plates for you. That way they can find you on the cameras. Now all you have to do is wait. Okay. I'd recommend that you keep the spring locks wound up. Your breathing and your heartbeat are causing them to come loose. You don't want them to get too loose. Trust me. just happened there but we're calling it there this is awesome we've got tonight four we wow we don't even know what to do anymore okay well thank you very much for tuning in if you have liked this please throw me a follow on twitch if you're watching it there and if you're watching it on youtube like subscribe throw a comment in the comment section below but for now this is your boy balls on you telling everybody to be excellent to each other while i change the world I'll One jump scare at a time.
So you all have that a fantastic day, and I will see you all now in the all next one. You have Peace to do out. Is wait.